Hey guys, welcome to the second video of my series on introduction to pandas and in the first video we got a basic introduction to pandas and we also installed it and now it's time we start um, doing some practical things with it, right? So the first thing that we're going to learn to do with pandas is how to read data from a CSV file. So as you might know that CSV file means a comma separated values file. So CSV is just a format for specifying some kind of a tabular data. So how do you specify um, any kind of table in a simple plain text file is that you use new line characters which means you use new lines for specifying each new row and you use comma as a separator for different column values in each row. So this is how CSV file works. So let me show you what is the data set that I'm going to use for this particular example. And now um, in my tutorial folder, I have a data folder in which I have two data sets, which are bikes.csv and imdb underscore thousand dot csv. So both of these contain some different kind of data. So let us try to analyze that. So here is imdb underscore thousand dot csv. So this is a CSV file which contains the data about um, thousand top rated movies on IMDb. And as you can see that these are the first row actually contains only the column names, which is star rating, title, content rating, genre, duration, actors list. And after that, we have all the rows which contain the data, right? So this is our CSV file. And um, another CSV file that I have is the bikes.csv. So this is the data about um, the number of bikes that passed through some bike lanes on each day of the year 2012 in Montreal. So these are the names of the different bike lanes that we have, um, Rachel slash Papineau and Barry Vern and so on. So these are the different names of the bike lanes and for each day and for each day, which is the date here, you can get the count of the number of bikes that passed through that particular lane. So this is the bikes data. So I have two data sets and I will be reading both of them so that I can convert them to um, a data frame in pandas. So in order to start that, first of all, I will need to import pandas library and I am going to import it as pd. So as pd means I will be referring to the pandas library by the name pd just like we used to do import numpy as np, right? Or import matplotlib.py plot as plt. So these are just some ways of um, referring to a library in some shorter number of characters. So now um, the first thing that I have to do is that I have to load it by using the read underscore CSV function. So read underscore CSV is a function for reading any kind of CSV file. So read underscore CSV data slash imdb underscore thousand dot csv so this is a path to my csv file so once pandas read a csv file it converts it into a data frame as and as i told in the last video that data frame is one of the most fundamental data structures of the pandas library which is used to represent tables and what is a table a table is a combination of two dimensional data about your rows and column names and an index so let us see what happens here df dot head so every data frame object has a head function which is used to get um, first five rows of your data frame if you just pass any kind of number then you get that number of rows as well so by default it is five so here you can see that we get a nice preview of our data set in which we have got all the column names here and then we have got the rows data and one more thing to notice here is these bold values. These bold values are the index values for each row. So by default, if you do not pass any kind of index or you do not specify anything to pandas, what it will do is that it will take, uh, it will create a default index for your data frame, which will be a range index, a range index, which means um, range zero up to length of um, all the rows that you have, right? So something like that. So that is what happens here. And as we can see, we have got a range. We, ha we have got an index. We have got column names and we have got the data. So this is how we have successfully loaded a CSV file. Now let us try to load another CSV file, which is bikes.csv. So let us try to load it now. So it is df equal to pd dot read CSV in which I will pass data slash bikes.csv. 
and let us try to see um, okay so first of all let me give different names to both of these data frames so I will be calling it imdb underscore df and then I'll be calling the bikes data as bikes underscore df okay so let us see bikes underscore df dot head ah look at that we are not getting that data in a correct format so right now what pandas has understood by looking at your csv file is that it contains a single column whose name is this and in each row the column value is given like this right so this is not a tabular data or this has not been this has not been parsed in a correct format and what is the problem here the problem is that we are using a semicolon as separator instead of a comma so due to this pandas is not able to understand uh, what is the character that you are using to separate the different column values so if you want to um, use semicolon as a separator in your csv file then you have to specify that explicitly like this sep equal to semicolon and now look at that we get our data in the correct format now pandas is able to understand the different columns that you have in your table and again as we can see the index is your default index which contains 0 1 2 3 4 as the values right now we can still do some improvements to this particular um, data frame one of the improvements that i would like to suggest is that you, as we can see that we have a date column here so wouldn't it be nice if i just tell pandas to convert these date strings into date objects so that will be very nice so if you want to do that all you have to do is you have to do parse underscore dates is equal to and you have to just pass a list of all the columns where you want to parse the dates so right now i have only one column so i'm just going to create a list which contains only date so date is the name of this column so parse dates let us see so look at that the format of your date has changed now it is 2012-01-01 which is the default format for showing daytime objects in the pandas library now one more thing to notice here is that um, in our file the format of date that we had was something like this um, it is this right so now in this format pandas can understand it in two ways it can be understood as 7th of january or it can be understood as 1st of july so what i mean is that the format can be interpreted like this or it can be interpreted like this right so there are two ways so if you want to differentiate between these two or you want to specify pandas that which one you are using in your data set actually then you have to specify the day first parameter so day first can be set as true or false so if you set day first as true then you mean that you are following this particular format the data is actually in this format so you should parse it in this way only and if you pass it as false then it means that your date time your date dates are in this format so right now um, our date uh, our dates are in this format and for that date first should be true so i'm just putting day first equal to true and by the way day first default value is actually true but i'm still putting it here so that you can remember to use it in other cases now um, the next thing that i would like to do here is that if we try to notice the date in our data set is actually unique for each row in each row we have a particular date of our year so considering that we can specify our date column to be set as the index for our data frame so that makes much sense right so instead of having 0 1 2 3 4 as an index we can specify date to be our index so for doing that i can just do index underscore call which is used for setting index column to be date so let us see what happens look at that the date is now being shown is shown in bold and the range index has been removed so now you are using a date index which will be used for referring to different um, rows of your table and it is quite um, nice that you do this because this will make your data more comprehensible and it will be more easy for you um, while you try to do any kind of indexing or slicing in your data because let's say you want to say that i want to find uh, I want to get the rows of only January then you can simply specify that in your slicing that you want to uh, you want the dates for only January and you'll be able to get that so we'll see all that later in the later parts of the series but right now what we have done is that we have created an index column which is the 
date right so yeah that's it and now um finally we can just try to see a few things like bikes df dot um columns so columns is a property of each data frame which will gives you the name of the columns of your table and bikes underscore df dot d types will give you the data type of all the columns so this column has this particular data type for each for all the values so like this so yeah this was all about how to read data from a csv file and uh, as we saw that in the simplest case pandas is quite intelligent to read your data in the correct way but in some cases you will have to specify some more arguments to get the desired thing right so yeah this was all about reading data in uh, reading data from csv files into pandas library and i hope the concept is clear if you still have doubts you can put them in the comment section below thanks for watching